You are at increased risk for heart attack or stroke if you have high cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, or if you smoke. The presence of any single risk factor doubles your risk. Having two of these risk factors quadruples the risk. And if you smoke, have high blood pressure, and have high blood cholesterol, your risk increases eightfold. This certainly makes you think. This is the second in a series of three videos focusing on simple changes you can make to lower your cholesterol, your blood pressure, and help you quit smoking. One of the quickest ways to reduce your blood pressure is by limiting your sodium intake. A study investigated the effects of sodium on 3,000 participants from two Portuguese villages. One village was given information on how to reduce their salt intake and given processed foods with half as much salt. The other village was given no advice on diet. There was a significant difference between the villages in terms of blood pressure one year later, and an even greater difference at two years. If you also want to decrease your blood pressure by two to four points, try incorporating the following advice into your daily routine. The most common thing I hear when I talk to patients about a low sodium diet is, I don't add any salt to my food, so I'm already eating a low sodium diet. It may be surprising to hear that only 10 to 15% of your average sodium intake comes from the salt shaker. But where is it all coming from, if not the shaker? The answer is pre-made processed food. Frozen pizza is just one example. A single slice of pizza can contain a whopping 980 milligrams of sodium. And who eats just one slice? It's even more astonishing if you know that the daily recommended amount is only 2,300 milligrams. When buying prepared meals, look for those with less than 600 milligrams of sodium per meal. This is the upper limit for a meal to be considered healthy. Always read the nutrition facts on food packaging to check the sodium content. Those chicken noodles that taste so good when you're sick can actually pack a punch of sodium. Soups can contain 500 to 1,000 milligrams of sodium per serving. Salad dressings also contain a ton of sodium. An interesting fact, high sodium content is why sauces last so long in the fridge without spoiling. The good news is that sodium levels vary significantly between brands and varieties. Many food companies are already following this consumer trend, so making simple swaps can help you avoid excess sodium. Additionally, Cooking at home allows you to control the amount of salt added to your meals. Use sodium alternatives, such as garlic, citrus juice, or spice blends, to replace or reduce the salt you use. Returning to our pizza example, a homemade pizza contains only 453 milligrams of sodium, reducing the sodium content by half. Don't be put off by taste. All it takes is three weeks of consuming less salt before your taste buds acclimate. It's up to you whether to make the change. Thank you for watching this video. Please watch my next video if you'd like.